freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day so far, whatever it is you are doing. We are in London today, um, North London, and we are delivering to, oh, I'm sure the, the title has given it away. We're delivering to um, White Hart Lane, which is where Tottenham Hotspur um, football team is. I'm not a massive football fan, I do watch football every now and then, but I'm not a massive fan. But I think anybody who knows anything about football, or even the slightest thing about football, knows where White Hart Lane is, uh, or at least which football team is associated with White Hart Lane. But that is where we're going. We're not actually delivering to the stadium, though. Um, so a little, little bit clickbaity. <laughs> uh, we're, we're delivering to Sig Roofing Supplies, uh, which is in White Hart Lane. Um, but I do believe we will get a glimpse of the stadium as we approach. Maybe wrong, maybe wrong, but we will find out, we will find out. Just keep an eye on these cars here. They're going down the same way I am, or they can do at least. Got a red car right on my left side, just gonna watch them. Got to keep an eye. The lanes are just not big enough. Um, my trailer's in this lane next to me. I don't know if you can quite see that, but <laughs> if any car now gets behind the car here beside me, which they're about to, then my trailer's gonna cut them up. So it's just, just a case of keeping an eye on it all. Looks like indicating left, because we are going left. Is this van trying to go left? No, it's not, that's good. Keep an eye on the left side. Excellent, and then we wanna get over on the left as well. Just waiting for cars to actually give me room. They're coming up on the inside of me, but they don't care. There we go. We're over. And we actually just had a car go from lane two into lane one and tried to undercut me still then. They just don't give you time. Don't give you time. Anyway, let's go past these lights. You're not even indicating, mate. I'm just just started breaking. <sighs> right, sorry bus, I would have let you out, but I'm trying to keep some momentum. That's the car that just tried undertaking me and he's now just sped around. Never mind. Obviously in a rush. Obviously in a rush. Now could we actually use the bus lane? Some bus lanes in, in London you um you can use during certain times of the day. Not all, but some. Make sure we give room. The bus is trying to get past, but it is a little bit snug. Don't hit my mirror. There we go. Oh, I think he just said thanks to me. He just put his hazards on. Yeah, so um, I don't know what we're doing after this. We're delivering to Sig Roofing. Um, but no idea what we are doing from here. We'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, but we've got 24 pallets of roofing supplies, like slates, I guess. Um, I believe they're gray. Yeah, slate gray. 24 pallets. Gonna let this bus go because we we actually need to go left soon. So just just let the bus go. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. 
You're welcome, mate. You're welcome. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did actually come here yesterday, uh, delivered to the same place. So this is my second delivery to this place, so I do know where I'm going. And I'm sure I saw a glimpse of the, uh, of the stadium yesterday, so that's how I think I know I'm going to get a glimpse. But this junction we're coming up to now, we need to turn left, which is fine, not a problem. But coming back out, you need to come out and turn right. It was a bit of an issue. Um, it, it's hard to explain. It's one of those junctions where I'm turning right and oncoming traffic are turning right, but rather than cross each other so that they're on my left and I'm on their left, they're on my right and I'm on their right, which means we're in each other's paths. So I've got to stop to allow the traffic to go because if I go and they go, and we both want to turn right, we can't because we're blocking each other. And it's, it was a bit of a nightmare yesterday because I stopped to let, to let them go and then I couldn't go. And it just, I was there for ages waiting to get out because no one would stop for me. So in the end, I just had to sneak out. <laughs> and even though it was a green light when I sneaked out and blocked this lane up, it was then a green light for the oncoming vehicles from where we are now. <coughs> Basically, it was a bit of a nightmare. I may need to come out of here and just turn left or go straight on because right was, not gonna lie, was a bit difficult. So, yeah. You'll see now, look, so the van wants to turn right, potentially, or no, it's going straight on. But there's vehicles coming from the right, there's vehicles coming from the left. Oh yeah, you just sneak up on my left side, mate. And if if you want to turn right, you can't because the vehicles are in front of you on the right, and you just, yeah, you can't go because you hit each other. It's hard to explain. <laughs> we might see later, we might not. Well, um, cross the bridge when we get there, because we've got to take up both lanes regardless when we come on out. Right. Let's go. I'm going to take a left down here. It is a little bit snug down here. Da -da -da -da. It's um not really the cars it's just the uh you'll see in a sec they're like a roundabout and you've got like pavements but they they're raised slightly and they look a little bit sharp as well right now it's fine it's just further on down i think it's traffic calming basically but it's a bit awkward in an arctic Now I have phoned up, I told them I'll be there about half past nine. Our retail is 9.27, so that was good going, considering I called them two hours ago. We did get stuck in a little bit of traffic, but not too much. But yeah, we are officially on White Hart Lane, where we were when we turned left back there. And that's the stadium in front, I believe. I think, I might be wrong, I'm pretty sure that's the stadium. It's massive, so it must be. <laughs> That's the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, right in front of us. Silver looking thing. We've got someone running across the road. Just keep an eye on these uh, pedestrian crossings as we go over them. And uh, this is where it starts to get a bit snug. You see this car's parked here, look, quite awkwardly. I got a raised curb just here. Yeah, we just hit it because that car's there. Ugh. These curbs are horrible because they're raised and they're just they're a bit sharp. Anyway, we want to turn right here. We've got a van in a dodgy place. We're going to have to go on the pavement just to stand a chance of getting round. Do you know what? No, I'm not going to go on the pavement. I'm going to see if I can get him to move.
Right, we'll, um, because the van's there, we've got no option but to go on the pavement, but I'd rather not. Not supposed to go on the pavement, but never mind. I've got no option there. And here we are. So we just park up in front on the right hand side and then they tip one side, then we move over and they do the other side. Easy peasy. And then we just spin round in there. So here we go. Like I said, it's a little bit snug, especially when the cars are parked on awkward places. But we got there, we got here. We got here. Right, I'm going to get the curtains undone, get unstrapped. See you in a bit. Right, there we are. We're unstrapped, curtains undone, ready to be tipped. Lovely jubbly. I have just noticed something. You're, you'll see here I've got three red lights on this side. I've only got one. I've got two blown bulbs, so my next job is to uh, to change some bulbs over. Whether I've got the right bulbs or not, I'm not entirely sure, but we we'll give it a go at least. My headlight bulb went the other day, Monday, no, Tuesday. So, bloody bulbs keep blowing. I got this little, screw my hands are dirty because my gloves keep making my hands dirty. Uh, I got this little screwdriver set from like Lidl, I think. Audi, like that. pretty handy. And these are the spare bulbs. Uh, so as long as it's a one prong on the end, we should be good, but I think they're twin pronged on the trailer. We'll, we'll have a look. Right, let's get this, uh, this off. Oh, that's not even undoing. That's great. Right, we're going to have to scrap that idea because I can't get the caps off because the screws have corroded. They're rusty and I can't undo them. <laughs> but one's working, so as far as I'm aware, that's fine as long as one is working. So I'm just going to go test the brakes now and make sure all the brake lights work because that is important. Right, we're tipped. Got someone watching me back. There is a van. You know that van as we come in is parked on the corner. There's now another one next to it. So it might be snug getting out. Mid lift up. We've got an extra van here as well. This van went here yesterday. Get the right angle. Right, he's waving me back. Lovely. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'm just going to sit here for a sec, all right? The reason why I just want to sit here for a sec is because, hang on, engine off. Remember that road I said where you got to turn right? I just want to see whether I can actually go straight on or turn left. So we haven't looked at it yet. Okay, right. I think I've just found a route I can take. The sat nav, when I, yeah, so I can go straight on. This is why it's important to do route planning, so you haven't got to worry about this at the time. So, right, let's go. So yeah, um, by the way, the bunk's a mess because I've been checking some fuses because um, the brake lights weren't working either for some reason, so I checked check the fuse, changed the fuse. It's, all, it's now all good. <laughs> um, yeah, so we can go straight on. Um, but the sat-nav was then telling me to take a right, which I would not have been able to make. So, like, why are they parking like this? We're definitely going to have to go on the path. But to get the angle to take the left ear, we need to go on this path as well, else we won't ever make it. Oh, 
a cyclist coming now. We need that side of the road. Just dawdle. Just take your time. Cyclist has now gone behind me, giving them enough time to to go behind me because I've got a, a trailer swing. So it's a bit, just a bit snug round here. So a bit snug. We are going left. All clear. Sorry, so as I was saying, so if we go straight over, which I'm, I suspect we are, unless it's quiet, then the sat nav was then trying to take me right and I wouldn't have been able to make the right hand turn. I'll show you when I get there. Um, instead, we're going to go straight down, turn left, and then it is a relatively sharp right hand turn again, but it's nowhere near as sharp as the original. Uh, therefore, meaning I should be able to make it. So, yes. But yeah, we're heading back to um, Leighton Buzzard now. Should be there by 12 get loaded hopefully out there by one and make a delivery before they shut fingers crossed fingers crossed and then there was a small rumor that I could be going back to the yard um, because someone else is driving my truck tonight for a night shift whether that's still happening or not I don't actually know or we could be on a night out regardless I'm not sure we'll find out in a, in a bit I'm sure we will But yeah, just a little bit snug round there and then the cyclist, if she just waited, I could have got out and then she wouldn't have had to sneak down the side of me, putting herself in more danger. It's just people don't think ahead. Bump. Ugh. Bump. Ugh. Okie dokie. Yeah, it looks a lot quieter than it did yesterday, so we might be able to make the right hand turn thinking about it. But you see there's a black car wanting to turn um, well he wants to turn right, which would be our left. But if I let him go, I might just be able to sneak past as well. Or get closer up to it. Ah, it's getting busy now. Loads of vehicles want to turn. Come on. See, now I've got a red light and I'm blocking a traffic light. Stupid design. I need, it, I need them to come so I can go and now it's going to happen all over again with this van. This is what was happening yesterday. Because I, be, I need to be in the middle of the road to make the turn or as the trailer will just hit the lamppost over there. Well, you, <laughs> he's shaking his head. See, they just got no idea that motorcyclist was shaking his head. If we time this right, both me and the van can go. He can tuck in behind me and I can tuck in behind him. Come on, come on, turn green, turn green, turn green. Ah, it's them now. Okay, we've got green light, we're going. you just got to be a bully or you're not going to make it. I have to do that to get round. Never mind, we're out now. It's just stupid design, that. Never mind, we're out. Right, I will see you when we are loaded. See you in a bit. Oh, look at that, look. It's the um, Tottenham Hospital bus. Maybe there's a match on. Don't know. That's funny how... We well, I suppose it's not really that funny. We've been to Tottenham and we've seen a Tottenham bus. <laughs> but it's just funny how we saw the stadium earlier and now we've seen the bus as well. 
yeah, we're, uh, we're on the A10, just about to get on to the M25 now, and then, um, yeah, crack on to later buzzard. I just saw the bus, I just thought I'll include it in the video because it's quite funny. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on, see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we are back in Leighton Buzzard. There's a bit of a queue actually, so we might be here a while. But we've got our paperwork, the curtains are open, we are ready to be loaded. I'll let me just show you in front. Okay, we've got two trucks in front, forklifts ready to, to load us. But both of these wind canton drivers are not in their trucks. So I'm here waiting to be loaded, but I can't actually go. Which is very annoying. So we're just waiting here literally until one of these drivers come and moves so we can go. So yeah, very annoying, very annoying, but we're, we're good to go. Just as soon as we get through, <laughs> then we can uh, go get loaded and head to Wokenham. If we left right now to go to Wokenham, we'd probably be here for another hour yet, I suspect. We'd be there for about half past one. So we're looking to get there for about half two, I would say. Uh, three o'clock, the latest, should be good to get tipped. Um, could be back in the yard around five, half five, let's say, five, half five. So it's not too shabby at all. Um, so yeah, we're just just waiting now for the uh, for the trucks to move out of the way so we can go in and get loaded. Do you reckon that's why they've all gone away? That'd be cool, wouldn't it, on a car, like a proper Dixie horn? Yeah, I reckon that's why they've all gone. They know that's coming. So annoying because we could be we could be getting loaded right now, but we can't until they move. Never mind. Right, we are still uh, just over two and a half miles away, but um, let's include some uh, some driving in the video because I know you guys like the driving side of it as well. I don't think I don't think it's going to get tight down here, but I have used my head a little bit and altered the route, so. It was originally telling me to go left at these lights here. Which looked to me like it went down into a housing estate. Down there. Yeah, it's definitely a housing estate. Uh, and all it does is it just sort of, it's like, imagine a triangle, it just cuts through diagonally. All we're doing is going up here and turning left. But it looks more like a main road, so. That's the first alteration I've made. Well, I say first, it's the only. <laughs> But um, hopefully we can get up around here. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can. Some of these trees were a little bit low coming in as well. I could hear it scraping on the trailer. <laughs> Just waiting for someone to uh, let me pass. Not that they have to let me pass, but nice if they do. Oh, I noticed, I never, don't think I said this, or did I? When I was um, doing the ASDA work just before Christmas, I noticed that I was definitely being let out a lot more. <laughs> like, it's almost like they saw the ASDA trailer and let me out because of what I was pulling. Honestly, that was the vibe I was getting. Right, it's clear on the right. We will need the other side of the road to make it the turn. Up the side of the road. We're clear. Get the old sunglasses on. I'm always asked what I'm wearing. These are McLaren Renegades. Um, from a Sun God. Yeah, from Sun God. If you're interested. McLaren Renegades Sun God. The F1 team, McLaren, I mean. Du -du -du. Sun's gone now. Yeah, so we just go down here for a mile and a bit. So yeah, that, I think that was the, that was the difficult, not difficult, that was the most difficult part. Not that it was difficult. 
Um, that was the only thing I was worrying about, do you know what I mean? That little bit there, but I think it's plain sailing from here. And then we come off this, well, it's not, I was gonna say a main road, it's not really a main road, it's a B road. But we take a right and then it could potentially be like single track roads, I'm not entirely sure. There's no street view. So it's an unnamed road, no street view. So it could be single track roads. The Google car's not been up there. <laughs> And then we've got to find a company we deliver and say, hopefully we're not here for too long. Hopefully. Um, I don't even need a break because I had a break back at Leighton Buzzard. Reset my driving time. So it's taken me an hour and a half to get here. I've got three hours to spare. So I can probably go straight back to the yard if I'm going back to the yard. I have a sneaky suspicion that it will be a case of going back to Leighton Buzzard to reload. Probably not tonight though. Probably tomorrow morning now. So I think that's, it's either going to be back to the yard and go home tonight or back to Leighton Buzzard and park up tonight, <laughs> one or the other. That's what I'm guessing. Um, be one of the two. Over this roundabout, why does this look familiar? I feel like I've delivered here at some point or another. It's mad. I don't know whether I'll include it or not, but if you look on Google timeline, you can search places that you visited and like <laughs> my map of places I visited in, in the United Kingdom is just mad. <laughs> I feel like I've been on every road almost. Right, we're gonna take a right hand turn in 500 yards. Is that like a van up there or something I can see? Something white, I don't know if it's a van or not. No, it's not a van, it's a building of some sort. It'll be just after anyway, by the looks of it. No, 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 no. That white thing I could see was the board saying turn right. Okay, so we're gonna turn right in here. I'm gonna wait for that car to come past first that's coming from ahead. Uh, so I've got gates here which are open, that's good. Warren Farm. What's he beeping at? Don't know what he's beeping at. He's he's gone off. Well, I'll check the truck when I get out, check the trailer and whatnot, but he's beeping at something. If it was that important, he would have... Uh, would have stopped and got out, surely, if it was that important. Never mind. Take a left here. Yeah, I can see it over there. I think there's, um, yeah, AVS or something. I delivered to them before, but it's not that company we're delivering to. When I say them, I mean them somewhere else. Yeah, you've got AVS fencing and Anderson roofing. Obviously, I deliver timber as well, don't I? But we're, uh, we're just delivering Ziv roofing today. Could probably park up here for the night, couldn't you? As well, look, loads of room. Loads of room. Right, BAM left, we're not going left. I don't think it's there, I think it's straight on. AVS was on the left. Anderson, straight on. I think we're gonna have to pull over on the right. Might have done that a bit late. I think if we park here, this is Anderson. This looks like this is where we're gonna be. Anyway, go go check the back of the trailer quickly and then go and see these guys and tell them what we got. Unless he was talking about the buckles, maybe that was why he's beeping about the buckles I haven't done. It's because the wind, it's really windy and it's blowing the curtain, so a few of them are done. No, it's 
nothing was wrong with the back of the truck. Don't know why that bloke was beeping for. Maybe he recognised me, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go find someone. Let's get this off and then see what we're doing after that. See you in a bit. Right, ratchets and corner boards have been put away. We've just got to do the straps now. Pull the straps off. But um, for that, I need a very special friend who I wouldn't be without. Let's open this. Strap winder. <laughs> yeah, need a strap winder. Yeah, you see me use it like nearly every vlog. It's the most, probably one of the most crucial tools I would recommend getting. If it isn't provided, just buy one. It makes your life a lot easier. As long as you don't knock yourself out of the straps. <laughs> right, yeah, it's a little bit windy, but all straps are off. Undone, curtains undone, ready to go. Got a forklift over there, let's take that one off. So yeah. Right, we are tipped. Not sure how we're getting out of here. I was told that someone would wash me back, but no one is here yet. I think it's a case of turning right and then reversing back into that corner. It's a bit snug. This is very snug. No one's watching me back yet. How much room I got, mate? No one's, no one's watching. There's a forklift on the other side. I can't see it. There's a forklift on the other side. I can't see it. Can't see him either now. Oh, I just heard him start a forklift, so I guess I was close. <laughs> he was, he's tech academy, tech, kept telling me to come back, but he couldn't see the forklift on the other side. He didn't know it was there. To be fair, I've probably got enough room to go. Just want to go back a little bit more, a tiny bit more. There we go. He's watching me back now. That's fine. I've got enough to get out now. Thank you very much. Next challenge is getting out of here because there's a van parked right on the corner. Might be okay. Just stand right there, mate. <laughs> he didn't even bat an eyelid that I was there. Right. So, we are done. We are heading back to the yard. We've got to get loaded out of South Cerny, but we won't be able to get loaded until tomorrow now. 
So yeah, let's head back towards the yard anyway, and um, I will see you later on when it'll be dark out. See you in a bit. Right, situation report. Um, we are heading back to the yard, but we're not allowed back until half past five, which means we've got to kill uh, 40 minutes. So we're just pulling into memory services member services basically long story short i'm not entirely sure i'm allowed to say <laughs> we are, we're moving yards um and we should have been moved by now but there's been there's been a delay with paperwork from solicitors or something um so we don't quite have the tenancy just yet for, at the new yard um meanwhile we've been essentially asked to leave the other yard that we were in um but they've been very kind big bump <clears throat> they've been very kind to allow us an extra few weeks to um to sort of tie us over before we get into this new yard um but the reason why we've had to find a new yard is because they just don't have the space for us anymore and um yeah so they need us out basically so they got more room for themselves completely understandable um Where's that truck going? Yeah, truck's going there. So yeah, they they need us out so that they got room for themselves. Completely understandable, but um, yeah, we haven't got the new yard yet. So they've very kindly, if don't think anyone who owns the yard will be watching these videos, but yeah, uh, luckily they've uh, allowed us to stay a couple of extra, about four extra weeks, I think, uh, just to tie us over. Hopefully the paperwork's done by then. But the condition is, unfortunately, you can't go back during operational hours of the sawmill um, and they work until half past five so I'm not allowed back until half past five basically. Do I, I don't need a break I'm on two hours and 30 minutes of driving and I'm only half an hour away from the yard um, but I will put it on break anyway because why not so yeah um, if we if we'd left now we'd be at the yard for 10 to 5 we can't get there until half past five so we need to kill 40 minutes here so probably just gonna sit here to be honest and just watch tiktok videos or something i don't know i'm not going in the services can't bother to go in the services don't need anything in the services how many times can i say services uh i would contemplate editing this video if i had to wait more than 40 minutes if i had to wait like an hour and a half i probably would have started it in this video but there's no point Oh, you're going now as well. Looks like now I've just parked in a really weird place. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so yeah, I will see you when we're in the yard. I'll say bye to you then. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are just pulling into our yard now. Lovely. Uh, he did say to spin round and reverse back, but yeah, I will. I will actually. I will actually do that. Looks empty in here. Da -da -da. And then we're reversing back behind I might need to turn my light off on the GoPro so I can see what I'm doing potentially that'd be right Yeah. yeah? We're still here? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll finish some paperwork off and I'll be out. So, we are parked up now. Just spoke to the guy who runs the place. He seems pretty happy. 664. I get on with him here, so it's... um. It's, well, it's good to get on with the people anyway, isn't it? Like, regardless. And then they help you out. They didn't have to let me stay in the yard tonight. Didn't have to. I don't know why I put exactly 17.33 down for. Um, 17.40 by the time I finished doing paperwork. Uh, where did we go today? 
Right, that's paperwork done. That can go over there. Lovely doubly. I better do the passenger window up, I suppose, and I close the sunroof. Put it on brake. I don't know why the GoPro here thinks it's on, but it's not. So yeah, um, that's us done for today, and that is going to be the end of today's video as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Nice little trip down to Tottenham, White Hart Lane. Reload and a, and a load to, um, to Wokenham. Oh, I forgot to say, actually, uh, coming out of Wokenham, um, following the sat-nav, there was a road closure. Uh, obviously, hadn't been on the system for long. And there was a road closure, and I was like, oh, no. I had no room to turn around. So the only option I had was to turn right, which took me down a residential street. I should have recorded it, but I didn't. Um, and then it was also th about well, it was quarter past 20 past three, so it was school pickup as well. So I had a school run as well. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Luckily, we got round okay. It wasn't like mega tight. It was a little bit tight, but not like stupid tight. We got round okay. Found our way to the main road again. Just little, go around a little cul de sac, basically. But it's the last place you expect to see an Arctic. <laughs> so some of the residents were looking at me like, what are you doing down here? But um, it's all good. Right, car keys. We uh, turn the lights off, ignition off, we're on break. Uh, so we can have a rest for tonight, 11 hours rest. Is it gonna be 11 hours rest? What time is it? Just 20 to six and we're gonna be starting about, oh, we're gonna have 12 hours off. Nice little 12 hour rest, lovely jubbly. Got to wear a high vis when walking through this yard here. That'd be another good thing. When we get the new yard, we ain't got to worry about wearing high vis we can just go get out the truck walk to the car and go <laughs> it's gonna i'm gonna miss this place i've been i've been operating out of this place now with with harry and sons for you know two and a half years something like that and i, I you know i've grown to know the people here and i get on with them i like to think i get on with them all and they got on with me as well and it's yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna miss some of the guys here um good people good people but um onwards and upwards we get our new yard bigger place tidier not no mess on the floor or anything like that it's got bark and there's puddles and there's it's wet and it's dirty and it's dark at night as well when reversing so onwards and upwards for the company this new yard gonna be uh, gonna be good when we get it but it's gonna be a little bit a little bit longer hopefully next month we'll have it and then i'll show you anyway that is it for today's video thank you very much for watching do appreciate it. this outro's gone on a little bit too long now don't forget to check out my merch big boys like big toys i was gonna say wear big toys big boys like big toys uh, i designed it it's on my merch uh, store as as long as well as other products check them all out it's up to you um and also follow me on social media luke and hcv on facebook and instagram sometimes i post pictures of my day sometimes i um put promotional codes out from merch store as well so yeah just go and follow me on social media if you want uh thanks for watching do appreciate it until next time drive safe stay safe and i will see you soon thanks for watching bye bye